Archangel Gabriel's Daily Messages, October 6 to 12, 2013. If you live your life by asking these simple questions, is this loving, empowering, accepting and allowing to me? Does it support me and honor me in being the expert of my own path? And is this loving, empowering, accepting and allowing to others? Does this support others and honor them in being the expert of their own unique path? You will be navigating your path with a far greater balance, authenticity and assurance because all your choices will be in line with what you and every other human being is on the planet to do. Most of you already know that gratitude is a powerful practice that holds a very high energy. What if we told you the energies of surrender and flow are even higher, even more empowering than that of gratitude? You see, gratitude is a solitary practice. It comes from the human giving thanks and appreciation, giving their feedback to the listening universe. Surrender and flow contain the energies of the human with their intention to move forward in the most empowered way, along with the energies of their highest self, their guides and helpers, and source. Surrender and flow means activating and operating with all of the supports available, and because of that, reflects some of the highest energies humans will ever experience. Surrender, flow and gratitude, when used together, are an amazing combination that can create miracles. Using surrender, flow and gratitude together is like discovering and activating your very own superpower. The solitary time many enlightening human beings have experienced has been vital in getting them to honor themselves, and their preferences, particularly if they came from abusive backgrounds or had poor boundaries. Many human beings are in the body having service contracts and have a tendency to make all of their concern about others. Alone time gave them space to discover who they really are and what their true preferences are. From finally developing that level of comfort with who they really are, there is no chance anyone is ever again going to successfully tell them how to be or how to feel. For some, seclusion was completely necessary in order to find their authenticity. Now that many have found that authenticity, they are now stepping back out into the world for the next exciting phase of their journey. They may step out, retreat, step out, retreat, until they can hold their truth, their beingness, wherever they are, regardless of circumstances. Do you see? The first phase was about finding your truth, which required a lack of distraction. The second is about learning to stay in that truth, even if there is distraction, because you are finally clear on who you truly are. The solitude you have experienced has been a true homecoming. You have come home to Source, and come home to yourself as a beloved aspect of that Source. No wonder you shine so brightly. Dear ones, whether you embrace something, or deny something, the essence of both is the same. You are still in that particular energy. You can only create great change by shifting your focus onto what you wish to experience. That is where the power lies, in your ability to refocus in order to create. Let us put it this way. Let's suppose you get in your car and put it in drive with the intention to going to a brand new area. How far do you think you could travel if you only looked in the rear view mirror? Give whatever energies you no longer wish to experience back to source, choose whatever is a better match to who you are today, and proceed with surrender and flow with the assurance that where you are going will be a grand new adventure. If you wish to make any great change in your life, simply go into a meditative state and imagine finding an energetic aspect of you that already holds all of those desired traits, shining brightly and beautifully. So, for example, let us suppose you wish to lose some weight. Enter into a meditation and find a version of yourself looking happy, healthy and at your ideal weight. Don't worry that you will not be able to find that aspect, it is as simple as calling it forth. Then invite that energetic aspect of yourself to meld into your body. Pay attention to how you feel as you merge, you will likely feel your energy shift as it happens. After that, it is just a matter of surrendering and flowing in your life, knowing you have set your intention and already hold the energy of your desired change. Accept the opportunities the flow presents to you to create and support that change, and before you know it, it will be part of your reality. Archangel Gabriel 
channeled by Shelley Young. TrinityEsoterics.com